Hmm. He looks like he's in pain. Yeah, I think it's a cold. Winter around here can be pretty unforgiving. Hmm. Looks like the ski trip will have to be pushed back. There's no point in going without Joshua after all. So why did you put him under a kotatsu? Isn't that supposed to be bad for you? Huh? Why not? A kotatsu's great when you're shivering from the cold. Uh, uh huh? That's the cold, not a cold. Hmm. Will Senpai be all right? Damn it, it's pissing me off that I can't do anything about this. <sighs> he should be okay. The medicine I picked up from the hospital appears to be working. It will still take a few more days, but Teddy is here to watch over him, so... Teddy, take care of Senpai for me. Of course! Leave it to Teddy. I've been sleeping with him every night. <sighs> that lot of help that is. Why can't Risei stay with me? You have been bedridden for a while, but it seems you finally recovered. Snor. Snort. Sensei, don't worry. You have me. It would seem that Teddy has been taking care of you. Snor. You carry Teddy to bed and decide to rest for the day. The third school term begins today. Okay, I'm glad I could waste my entire vacation <laughs> with being sick. Oh, I love you, Persona. Never change. In case you're wondering, they did this exact same thing a few times in Persona 3. Not just once, like a few times. It seems that you've fully recovered. Sensei, I think you're okay now. Take care. You pull your winter clothes out of your dresser and leave for school. Obtained min midwinter Yasuo. Yo! Morning, Joshua. Are you feeling better? I freaked out when I when Teddy told me how bad it was. You were kind of groaning that day when I went to see you, too. Well, even if we didn't plan it, I'm glad Teddy was there with you. He put everything he had into taking care of you. I'm sorry I worried you. Don't sweat it. You're all better now. Oh, yeah, about the ski trip. We decided to hold off on that until another holiday. I'll set some of my New Year's money aside, so let's make our plans then. There is that block of holidays in February. I think that might be the time to do it. Welcome home! Oh, that's right. I heard from Nana-chan a while back that you're raising vegetables. That's not fair. I want to grow veggies too. Teddy went outside. You can hear Teddy's voice. Woo! It's cold. What's this? Sensei, look at this. Come on, dig with me. Oh, hold on. It's cold, so I'll go change. You just got better, so you better dress warm. Here, here. Try digging here. What are we doing? Look, Sensei, something's coming out. You found a hibernating bug in the ground. What? So when it snows, bugs burrow into the ground? Hehe, <laughs> they're so shy. I bet Nanachan will be surprised when we tell her we harvested the bug. Hmm, Sensei, my hands are getting cold. We can't have you getting sick again, too. Let's go back inside and warm up with the Kotatsu. That was fun. My hands are freezing and we weren't able to raise any vegetables. But it was fun. Let's do it again sometime. With the snow piled up, you can no longer raise vegetables. You can, however, look for hibernating insects. Use the gardening tools when you want to search for insects. <laughs> I guess we're fishing, but why? Oh boy. Amagawa floodplain. So I don't know what's happening here. Um, all of a sudden at lunch, like five of my people that were already social link max came and asked to hang out with me, which 
should not happen because they're all maxed. So I'm not sure what's going on. So this is interesting to me. I'm sorry to ask you here so suddenly. It feels a bit awkward going home today. Uh, what's wrong? Well... Yukiko seems uncomfortable. It's actually customer's day for me today. That's a day when the inn's employees take turns being customers. We've done it every now and then for a while, but I decided to participate this time too. I wanted to see from a customer's point of view if our inn is truly satisfying. So I asked them to sign me up. That's a great thing to do. You, you think so? I was embarrassed. Yukiko is blushing. I played customer once before, too, but it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having Mother and everyone say things like, Welcome to me. That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. Yukiko is smiling wryly. I told everyone at the inn that I hadn't planned to take over as manager, that I wanted to leave Inaba. I thought it would be me finally coming clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and said they knew already. It made me realize how small I was. I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems alone. I lied to myself, looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. But after making so many good friends like you and Chie, I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time away from here, every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep averting my eyes, one day I might find myself blind to everything. When I open my eyes, I see how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by kind, supportive people. Now I hope I can grow into someone that can support them in turn. Yukiko is smiling cheerfully. No way. Yukiko's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power? No way! This is totally new for gold, I think. There's no way that they had this before. Because I do not remember this at all, but this is so awesome. Yukiko's persona has been reborn again. Amaterasu has transfigured into Sumio Akami. That's freaking amazing. So basically, it looks like in Golden with this extra month that they give you, you can go with, and I, I think it's only with your teammates because all the people that showed up at lunch were from my team. Even though I have other social links like Ko and IMAX, they didn't show up, so. My guess is it's only teammates, but it looks like there's like an extra little story step. You get an extra bonus from it. An extra little story to like kind of wrap up, wrap up their their character story. And then I guess your your persona, their persona gets buffed again. That's sick. Severe fire damage to all foes. That's amazing. My persona? I see. So I can still change. Ever since I fell in love with you, I felt myself changing into someone completely different. I keep finding sides of myself I never noticed before, and I love every one of them. It would make me happy if you did too. Please, 
Continue to stay at my side. You can sense Yukiko's unconditional love. You spent time talking about all sorts of things with Yukiko until it became dark out. Your room, because everybody comes to my room. Kanji asked to come over despite any plans you had, so you brought him here. Sorry for barging in like this. I wanted to talk to you, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. Kanji is fidgeting for some reason. You know, well, uh, it, it's about a present. What would be, uh... Okay, let me start over. I want to give someone a present. I don't know what they'd like, so I thought I'd ask for your advice. It, it, it's for a woman. Uh, who is this woman? Um, I want to give it to Ma. That's what I thought. Uh, why are you asking me? Well, you strike me as a chick magnet. I thought you might know all about what women like. Kanji seems troubled. I am begging you. I have no idea what to give her. I want to be damn sure Mom's happy with it. I should tell you, Ma went to the hospital. Oh, it was just for an exam, though. She's out already and doing totally fine. But the tests seemed like they were rough on her, so... I want to give her something like a hospitality award. How nice of you. Stop teasing me. Kanji's face is completely red. I went to go visit her while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Ma looked at me and said, You've changed. She said, Your father and I are proud of you, son. Kanji's eyes are slightly red. Dude, Kanji is just the best character. Pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright and I keep causing her all this trouble. And she says she's proud of me. Kanji's voice is shaking. I mean, I'm, I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a punk like me without a single complaint and worked herself to the bone and no one thanked her for it. I just, I feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. <laughs> Getting kind of leaky here. Ma was right though, I have changed. It was because I got to know you guys. Until I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo that I tried to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. I wasn't holding my head up high. I wasn't proud of myself. But getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold my head up high, Ma's gonna be proud of me. Still, I wanna become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. So I'm gonna spend my life keeping myself in check to make sure I don't lose my way again or start lying to myself. Angie is smiling cheerfully. Kanji's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Kanji's persona has been reborn again. Rokuten Mao has uh, transfigured into Takaji Zaitan. The man's way. May inflict down dizzy on all foes. Um. Uh, I guess I can replace this. Wait, there's like two. I just realized there's like two more spots for him to learn things. New power. This must be another me, huh? 
and I'll keep changing however I want to from here on out. I... I want to fight for others instead of just for myself. I'd rather die protecting something that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. And one day, I hope I can be strong enough to protect you too. Dude, Rise is waifu, of course, but Kanji may be the best character in the game. They're, they're both so good, but Kanji is great. I don't know how anybody can not love Kanji. I'll be counting on you. It takes a hell of a strong man to say that, Sensei. I've got a long way to go. Kanji is smiling with fierce determination. Well then, let's make that gift. My present to Ma. I got some tools for you to work with, too. It's cold out now, so maybe something warm for when she goes to sleep would be good. Hey, how about a crocheted hugging pillow you can put a hot water bottle inside? I'll call it a, a warmy yarny. <laughs> oh my god. If we work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Ma always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Man, I'm glad I asked you, senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? You're my best friend, Kanji. You're my best friend. You spend an unexpectedly long time with Kanji. Night fell and he saw Kanji off. Welcome home! Okay, look at this. Oh, oh, this is just because Kanji's not leveled up, that's why. So, I thought at first that there was like more events to do, but I think it's actually because he's only level 65, as where some of the other characters are over level 70, so that's that's why he still has skills to learn. That, that makes sense. You came to the beach with Teddy, because there's no time like winner to go to the beach. Woohoo! It's so huge, so wide, so salty! Wait! The salt was actually me sweating. It's tough to skate against the wind. Wow! The winter sea is really cool, too. Coming here with everyone was fun, but it's exciting to be here alone with you, too. This must be the true charm of the winter sea. Teddy is in high spirits. Also, the beach is a mess. Does nobody come and clean the beach here? Sensei, over here! Let's do that thing people are supposed to do on the beach and run around in the surf! Come on! Try and catch me! You played with Teddy for a while. Sensei, why is the sea so huge? Because the world is huge. The world? I know what that is. It's where everything is, and everything in it is connected. Teddy gazes out over the horizon. The sea's sparkly. I didn't know anything about anything until I met you and everyone else. Fun things, feelings that make me want to cry, how the sea is so beautiful. I didn't know anything, and I never thought about wanting to learn either. I can feel all kinds of things in me now. All these feelings created after I met all of you. I think that's my life. It's these different feelings that keep me going. There's still tons of things I don't understand, and I don't know what I'm gonna do from here either. But I've decided that I'm gonna do the best with this life that I can. 
Even though I was scared, I took a step forward and discovered such a wonderful, shiny world. That's why you too, Sensei. S -sen sensei! <laughs> Betty is shedding large tears. Because you're going away soon. I want you to know, Sensei. But I felt like if I told you, then you'd leave for good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? Do you understand this tremendous love I'm professing? <laughs> Betty is sobbing convulsively. <laughs> but I'll be okay. It's sad, but being sad is part of life, too. I've made my decision to stop relying on you so much, Sensei. I will now enter the independent Teddy chapter of my life, so that this time, I can be your sensei. That isn't gonna happen. Teddy smiles cheerfully. Teddy's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. and looks even worse than before. How do they manage to make Teddy's persona continually look worse and worse? Teddy's persona has been reborn again. Kamui has transformed into Kamui Moshiri. That is the worst looking persona. It's just horrendous. I think it's... I think it's gotta be a joke. Like, it's gotta make it. They gotta be making it look terrible on purpose, like, as a joke. Like, like it's almost like they just purposely, tr like, came up with every horrible idea they could possibly come up with. We'll give him a crown and a big smiley face. We'll make his nose super long. We'll paint him in a rainbow color. We'll give him a cloak with stars on it. You know that uh, rocket we put on his butt last time? Let's make the rocket even bigger. This is so bad. Uh, anything could happen. I don't even know. That's terrifying. I don't want to keep that. Anything could happen? What is anything? Oh, man. Something came out! I'm an all new model now! Teddy version 3! Or is it 4? Maybe I should study counting first. Oh, but even though I've entered my independent phase, I'm still gonna have Yosuke take care of me. I'm not that independent yet. You sense an unchanging strong bond with Teddy. You and Teddy sit and talk about all kinds of things until the sun begins to set. 